Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to manage the quality 6 and quality alert in order 16 quality module. So most individuals look at the quality of the product, process and a company. They like to purchase the com commodity based on the quality. The firm checks the quality of the material through several operations before reaching the customers. A good sales ensures by quality standards expectations of the customers and they get satisfaction through good quality. Odo 16 provides a quality module that consists of control points, checks and alert that enrich the product quality. Odo 16 quality module focus on quality checks, alerts, teams, product variants and control points. So you can manage all these activities in a single system using Odo 16 quality module. So let's get into the quality module. First, we need to create a team. So under configuration menu, we can see quality team. So here we have uh, the quality team with its name and company. Now let's create a new team. So let the name of the team be QA Masters. Now here you can set the email alias so that this would allow you to accept the emails from. You have three options to accept the email from like everyone, authenticated partners, followers only. And we can set the uh, yeah option as everyone to accept the email. Now you can save the team manually. So under quality control menu, we have control points so here we can see the control points that are already created with the reference title product operations control uh, per type team and company so uh, the stage to check the product available in quality control points can measure the product quality from here so let's create a new quality control points click on new button so first we have to give the title for the quality control point. Let the name or the title be QA control points. Now here you can choose a product. So let's create a new product. And edit the details. Here, if you want to set the category, you can uh, do that. This is not mandatory field. So we can perform quality control points for different operations like receipts, delivery, return and manufacturing. So currently I'm going to perform uh, the quality control points for delivery operations. Here you can select multiple operations as well as you can set multiple products. So if you are setting the product field as null, you could choose the quality control points for any of the products. And here we have an option for of company so that this quality control points will be applicable for this con uh, company only. And we can set the control per with the products, operations and quality. So letting control per with products and you can set the frequencies like on randomly and periodically. Now we have different types of control points like instructions, take a picture, pass, fail and measure. Now let's choose instruction as the type. So when you choose instruction as the type, you can see uh, here we can see that we have a field called instruction to add the instructions and we can also add nodes over here. Now here we can select the team that we have created that is the QA masters and we can also set the responsible person for this. So let Michelle admin be the responsible person and we can set the uh, instructions like check the quality of shoes now let me save this so we have created a quality control point now let's back to the product and we can search for the created product Here we can see the product. Let me make it as favorite and we need to set this as storable product and give the relevant details like sales price. Now here we can see 
now you can update the quantity so let's update the quantity i'm updating the quantity because we have created a new product so currently we don't have stock of this product so we need to set the quantity now you can click on apply and you can set this so when you back to the products here you can see that the on hand quantity has changed into 10. now let's go to the uh, sales module now you can create a quotation by filling the details of customer and choose the order line with a product that is a created product to show and we can see that we are requesting for one quantity and uh, with the unit prices shown here and the applied tax is also shown. Now let me save and confirm the quotation. So once you confirm the quotation here you can see a smart tab of delivery and click on that so when you get into the uh, delivery tab you can see a button called quality checks as we have set the quality check for the operation delivery so first we need to check the quality of the product so in order to check the quality of product you can click on the button quality checks so when you click on the quality checks here we can see the instructions that we have given in the quality control uh, points so here we have set the instruction as check the quality of shoes and here we can also give the additional note so we can give the additional note like quality checked and click on validate button so that the quality is checked and we can see that the product is currently available and if you want to make the delivery click on validate button so that by setting the quantities we can uh, do the delivery okay so we have completed the delivery so uh, by choosing the valuation you can see the stock movement uh, from the warehouse to the customer now let's back to the quality module and here we can see the quality uh, team that we have created that is uh, QA masters so whenever you create a new team it will be visible in the quality overview now when you back to the uh, quality checks here you can see the product show uh, what uh, its uh, check date and who has checked and the team and we can see the status that is passed so here we get all the details and here under notes we can see the additional note that we have given and if you want to create alerts it is possible to create alerts so if you want to create alert you can uh, create alerts for this so by giving the description corrective actions preventive actions and miscellaneous i mean under miscellaneous you can give the details of vendor company and emails easy and date assigned you can also set the priority for the quantity checks as well as you can also set the root courses for the quality check. Now let's back to the quality uh, checks and create a new quality check. If you want to create a new quality check, it is possible to create. So whenever you uh, create or uh, you have done quality checks, you can see it will be uh, configured under quality checks. Now let's back to the quantity alert. So here we can see uh, currently we have one product that is uh, uh, shows in uh, the stage new. So if you want to create new stage you can uh, give or you can create a new stage by clicking on the plus icon. Uh, and let me give the name as next stage click on add so that we have created a new stage so from here we can also set uh, the title for the quantity alert product is uh, shown here and if you want to set the load number for this you can choose that and here we can choose the picking that is the uh, the delivery uh, reference number uh, you can choose because uh, this is shown as uh, wh out because we know that as we are delivering the product we know the product is moving out of the warehouse so you can uh, choose the reference over here and here we can see the responsible uh, person and team for uh, the quality alert okay now let me go to the control points and 
let's create a new one or choose the existing one and change the type as take a picture and you can save so whenever you have completed quality checks you can see that the quality checks will be shown here with a smart tab so you can directly view all the quality checks under the quality points now okay we have changed the type as take a picture now let's back to the sales module and you can get into the quotations and here you can choose a customer and choose a product that is shoe now let me confirm the order and repeat the previous step that is go to the delivery and here we can see the operations and quality checks now if you want to set the quality alert like you can uh, give the quality alert and if the title like poor quality with the product and you can see the picking reference number over here and you can also set the root course for this so you can give like the root course as not worth so you can create uh, a root course from here and you can set the priority over here so you can also uh, set the description material as duplicate corrective action change the material of the show and you can also set preventive action like change for the soil Material of salt and in material of stool. Okay. And under miscellaneous, you can uh, fill the details with vendor, company, and email CC. And you can also uh, set the assign date. So you are setting the assign date. Now you can click on save manually. Now let's uh, back to the sale order and when you choose uh, the delivery here we can see that we have created a quantity alert and when you uh, click on quality checks here we can see that we need to upload a uh, image for this so here we can see uh, the image of the shoe so you can upload the image and if you want to uh, give any additional note you can provide over here for quality with the additional note and click on validate so that currently we uh, have uh, uh, created quality checks and we have passed this so when you click on cre uh, yeah uh, uh, when you have passed this and you feel like Ah, the product quality is not so good and you want to fail the quality then you can click on fail so that it will be moving to the fail state and you can see when you click on create quantity you can again create uh, the uh, alert for this so we have already created an alert for this so here you can see that as the uh, quantity fails it will be shown as quality uh, it will be shown as red color and if the quality checks uh, as passed then this will be indicated in green color so here we can see that we have created two quality alerts so both the quantities uh, will be uh, shown over here okay now so let's back to the quality module now you can choose the control points and let me change the control point type as pass or fail 
Now you can save this. And let's back to the sales module module and repeat the steps. So here you can fill the details of the customer and you can choose a product. And you can make delivery of the product. So before that, go to quotations and fill the details of the customer. And here you can give the product that is show and click on confirm. And here under delivery, you can see the quality check. And if you click on quality checks, it will be uh, passing the quality and Let's click on quality alert, uh, product, pro product be the reason, I mean title of the uh, quality alert and you can save manually and let's back to the orders and under the delivery here we can see that we have created a quality alert. Now when you get into the quality alert, now when you get into the quality checks, we can see that the product with its reference number, control book, product and other details and you can see the status is to do and we can make it a uh, fail for the uh, quality of the product. So you can set the uh, quality of the product as fail so it will be moving to the fail state. Now. Let's back to the quality module and choose the last type. So here we have the type as measures and you can save this. So here you can set the measures as 200 and setting the tolerance to be 190. So uh, we are setting a tolerance uh, of maximum i mean uh from 190 to 200 so the value that we are giving for the quality must be between this that is from uh from 9 190 to 200 now let's back to the sales module now we can choose the quotation and fill the details and here you can choose the product and confirm so try to make the delivery of the product. So here, when you click on quality checks here, we can see the measurement that we can give. So when you try to give the measurements other than this, let's see what will happen and try to validate. So here you can see that when you try to give the measures other than uh, the values that you have given in the quality control points, you will get a message like you are measured um, or the value that you have given should be between the uh, the value that you have given in the quality control point. So currently we have set this as a uh, norms and uh, tolerance. So let's correct that. Now let me change the measure as 191 and click on validate so that you can see that now if the quality is checked and uh, the quality is passed. Now you can make the delivery by clicking validate button. So click on apply so that the quality is currently checked and you can see that this is currently in past state. So if you want to fail the state, you can directly click on fail button as so that this will be moving to the fail state. So this is how Odo manage the quantity checks and quantity alert in Odo 16 quality module. So that's all for today.